YouTube, how y'all doing? Your boy Tecmo here again, fresh from Best Buy, about to do another review and unboxing. And you guys know that I've spoken highly about Soul Republic's products in the past. And one thing that I was critical about on the Amps Air is that they lack uh, playback controls on the earbuds themselves. Well, Soul Republic might have a fix for that with these, which are the Sport Relay wireless headphones. And these do have playback controls. So what I'm gonna do is unbox these. I'm gonna get behind the camera, unbox them, charge them up for a minute, then let you guys know how they sound. Hopefully they have the same great sound that the Amps Air have. If they do, these are significantly cheaper at $79.99, so they probably will be a win. So that being said, guys, let me get behind the camera and let's bust these open. Okay, guys, so as I said, this is what we're going to be reviewing and unboxing today. The Relay Sport Wireless Headphones by Soul Republic. And it says, designed for comfort, engineered for sound. And again, they're $79.99. And you have three different color options. You have black with the gray accents. You have a powder bluish color with the gray accents, as you can see there. And then you have a neon yellow greenish looking uh, color with the gray accents as well. So you have a couple different um, options you can choose from there. And we'll just go briefly over what they say here. Comfort, ultra slim fit design sits comfortably in the ear and won't hurt, hurt over time. Sound, in-ear tips seal the ear, block outside noise so you can hear the full sound of your music. Secure fit, patented free flex wheel is a universal fit that's easy to use and won't fall out. Sweat resistant, and we have mic plus music and Siri control. So we can activate Siri for those iPhone users, control volume, pause, play, resume, skip, music, and answer, plus hang up phone calls with one button. And you guys know that's major. That's a major thing with me. So that's a plus, definitely a plus. And we have some reviews down there. I don't need to read those because I'm going to do my own review. But again, just giving you guys an overview of everything before we get these opened up. So stay tuned. Okay, so here's the box that they come in. I'll give you guys a quick look at the box so you know what to look for if you decide to pick these up. And again, I got the black and gray pair. And you can see how the earbuds themselves look right here in this plastic casing here. And on the back, it just has a little bit of the specs. And again, it's pretty much what they had on the website that I just showed you. But here it has quick charge, charge for 10 minutes and get a full hour of music play. That's a good feature to have if you just need a little bit of juice and you don't have a long time to charge them up. According to this, you can charge them for 10 minutes and get an hour worth of music play. So, I mean, that's not a bad feature to have. And right there, as you can see, eight hours worth of battery life. So that's pretty good compared to other ones that I've reviewed. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and bust these open. And while I'm getting my knife out, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed since my last video. Um, right now, I think I have 47 or 48 subscribers. So thank you to each and every one of you guys. I, every subscriber counts to me. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Okay, so with these guys, all you have to do is slice the little tape on the side and then the whole thing itself slides out. And in the box, you have a Soul Republic user guide, warranty, and instructions. Sit that to the side for now. And you have four sets of earbuds um, for you to try out to see which one fits your ear to keep them secure. And then again, those are the earbuds themselves. Let's see. That out. So in the white box, we have our USB charging cable. And here are the earbuds themselves. And they just have one showing for the presentation so you can see that 
from the box. The other one is actually tucked away in this white box when you get them. So be careful and don't just try to pull this white box out because you might end up ripping one of the headphones or damaging them. So be careful because this one is actually tied to this black case. So, I mean, if you accidentally rip it open, I mean, you might not hurt anything, but just be aware of it. You know, you want to avoid breaking anything if you can. So it's important to note that out of the box, they don't come with any ear tips on them. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. All you have to do is come right here and pick out a pair, try them on and see if they fit, and then you're good to go. I mean, overall, they look nice, and I'll show you the controls here. There you go. You got volume up and down. You got your pause play button and your track switching. And right here is where you charge them. You just pull this up and put your USB in there and you're good to go. So what I'm going to do is charge these up for a little while, come back and I'm going to pair them to my phone and we'll see how they sound, give you guys a review on them. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back with this. And one thing to note on these headphones is that there's a dedicated volume button and this is how you turn them on and pair them to your phone. It's very simple. All you do is hold these down. Well, hold this button down, sorry. And then it'll be solid blue when it's in pairing mode. It's so obviously paired to my phone already, so it won't stay solid long. And there you go, they're paired. So they'll pulse every once in a while, letting you know that they're still on. And I only charge these for about 15 minutes and I have a full charge, but they were about halfway full when I got them. So I would assume that, you know, if they're all the way dead, that it'll probably take you about 45 minutes to get them full. I mean, give or take. And again, these have eight hours worth of battery life, so they should be pretty good as far as charging and um, keeping a charge. So what I'm going to do is play a few songs and I will let you guys see how they fit on me because these are very small. I don't know how good the camera is picking up, how big they are but they are actually very small compared to other earbuds. They do not stick out of your ears. They actually fit flush in. So I'll show you and give you a better idea what I'm talking about. But if you have the Amps Air, you know how they stick out of your ears a little bit. These do not stick out. Other than these two things right here, um, you probably couldn't tell that a person had these on if you were just looking at them straight forward because these do not stick out of your ear at all. So what I'm gonna do is give you a look at how they look on me so you can see how flush they fit into your ears. So give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is a front view. You can barely see them. They're in my ear canal and they feel very comfortable. They don't feel like they're gonna fall out if I do some jumping jacks or some jump rope or something. They're not uncomfortable at all and they're very flush and the earbuds themselves aren't very big. So, I mean, they're very comfortable, they're lightweight, and I don't know what else to say about them. They, so far, they feel really good in my ears. And as you can see, I'll give you a full side view. Nothing to it. <sighs> you too. I need you guys to see me so you understand exactly how I feel about these. These sound better than any of the other headphones I've done a review on so far on my channel. No matter how much the other ones cost, these sound great, okay? Very balanced sound. Um, the highs, I'll give a nine, and the bass, I'll give an eight. It's very important that you guys understand that these are very small. Okay, but the bass that these push out is very good compared to other earbuds that I've reviewed. Um, I would still say these have a little bit less bass than the Amps Air, but you see the fact that these have these little pods on each, dedicated to each earbud, I'm pretty sure that's why they're able to push out so much sound um, because usually you have one that's dedicated to both, but these each have their own. So I'm pretty sure that's how they got the sound out of these because I think these sound great. Okay, 
$79.99 for these. Power Beats, anywhere from $129 to $159. Sometimes you find them for $200. Compared to those, these Power Beats, bruh. That's how I feel. These are... These... I don't know what to say about these. For $79.99, if these will stay in my ear at the gym, I don't have any need for any other earbuds. As long as they last, as long as they work, I don't see how you can get any better than this. Eight hours worth of battery time. The sound is great. And $79.99, these are a go. These are definitely a go. Um, they have the controls. I mean, I don't see what you could be missing with these. I honestly don't see what you could be missing. I mean, the, the sound is there. The controls are there. The design is great. Like I showed you, they fit into your ear flush. You can barely see them. And right now, I don't, I don't think that there's going to be a problem getting them to stay in my ear. So I'm going to, like I always do, I'm going to use them as my gym headphones for about a week. And I'll give you guys an update, but I don't see how these are not a win. I mean, everything right now pertaining to these is a plus. Um, if you have any questions, guys, leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. But until then, Tecmo out. I hope you guys have a great day. Y'all thought I was going to throw them away for real? I ain't rich.